Hi guys, welcome back to Nikki Speaks. And if you read the title, then you know that there are some things that we do need to get into. So before we do that, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into this Nicki Minaj and Normani T. So a lot of media sources along with the fans noticed that Nicki Minaj unfollowed Normani recently. And immediately after Nicki unfollowed Normani, Normani returned the favor by unfollowing Nicki. Well, let's kind of unpack and get into exactly what's going on here. So if many of you guys may remember, Nikki has always been an advocate for Normani. Don't be coming for Fifth Harmony because Normani is that bitch. <laughs> I'm just it saying. kind of goes back to about three or four years ago at the VMAs when T Tiffany Haddish was absolutely given Fifth Harmony the business on stage and Nikki came up to accept her um her award and she stood up for Normani you know she told Tiffany that hey Normani is that girl so what we're not going to do is talk about her so Nikki actually went to bat for Normani after that Nikki took to her Twitter not immediately after not associated with that but just sometime after she went on Twitter and she kind of mentioned to her fan base who are the barbs you know who what singer should I put on this track and Normani was absolutely in her mentions in Nikki's mentions she responded back with the hand raise kind of saying pick me pick me I'm over here so I think that we actually watched a really cool relationship, a really good relationship, a girls, girls relationship kind of start forming from there. Um, Nikki even had Normani come and be a part of her podcast that she was doing um, a few years ago. And her and Ariana Grande have had nothing but really great things to say about Normani. And of course, Normani returned the favor. She's always been a Nicki Minaj fan, according to her. She's talked about how she's a girl girl, a girl's girl. And, you know, she's kind of paved the way and that Nicki Minaj would be her ultimate feature. And so these are the things that, you know, they've said over the years. So I did find it awfully strange when I heard that Nicki Minaj and followed her. I found it awfully strange. So a lot of people were speculating that it was probably because last year Normani actually had Cardi B as a feature on her Wild Side track. And as many of you guys may know, Nicki and Cardi got into it and they are not on good terms. So a lot of people were speculating that, but I mean, it would stand to reason that if that was the issue or that was the case, then Nicki would have just unfollowed Normani a year ago when that particular track dropped or when word came out that um, Cardi would be a feature on her song. So I personally don't think it's directly related to that. I, don't, I think that there's maybe more to it if that is the reason. Um, then we have some people who are saying, and this is alleged because there is no proof, there is no facts. Some people are actually saying, a few sources are saying that um, Nicki Minaj actually reached out to Normani for a feature and Normani declined. And I just, I am calling bullshit on that. I just, for one, I don't see Normani declining a Nick, uh, declining a Nicki Minaj feature when she's always said that she wanted that feature. So I just, I don't see that happening. Um, and then of course, there's also a rumor going around that Normani has just been kind of bad mouthing Nicki in the industry because she wanted Nicki on her upcoming album. As you know, Normani has not released her debut album yet. She's still working on it. She's been asked, you know, is there a possibility that you will have Nicki? She, you know, said maybe. And so that's one of the reasons why I just don't think that Nicki reached out to her and she declined it. Now, the other rumor that's going around is that, you know, she's, of course, a bad mouthy Nikki in the industry because she reached out to Nikki to be on her upcoming album and Nikki declined it. 
So listen, right now it's all rumors. It's all speculation. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's happening behind the scenes. What we do know is that the two were very cool. The two were very cordial. They had even been in each other's space, talked very highly of each other. And now they're no longer following each other on Instagram. So I know a lot of people will say, hey, it's just social media. It's not real life. They could very well be um, friends, but still friends behind the scenes. Listen, I get it. I absolutely get it. Social media is social media. Social media is not real life. However, I do believe that an unfollow and a follow does mean something when it comes to celebrities. I absolutely do. I think that um, Nikki unfollowed her for a reason. I don't know if it's the reason that people are kind of trying to, you know, kind of circulate around and make us believe, you know, all of the alleged, you know, Normandy's upset because she didn't get a feature. Um, Nikki's upset because she didn't get a feature. I mean, I just... In all honesty, we don't know what happened. We will probably never know what happened. I do wish both of them um, the best. It looks like, again, they had this budding friendship that was happening. And, you know, I just, I hope that it's something where they can kind of come back together behind the scenes, mend it like nothing ever happens, and then just pop out together to show us, hey, all is well. Kind of like Nikki and Rihanna did, because we all know that there was a little rift between them. And then here recently, we saw them together and the social media was just like going crazy. The barbs were going crazy. The Navy was going crazy um, because that was a link up that both of them have been wanting to take place. So, yeah, I hope it's just, you know, they will come back together and kind of, you know, kind of fix it. Because I do think it's something there. I absolutely don't think that. Um, I absolutely don't think that Nicki Minaj reached out to to Norman uh, to Normani and she declined a feature. I just I don't. I can't see that happening. If that is the case, if that was what happened, then listen, <laughs> listen. Normani is not trying to have this debut album do any type of numbers. Okay, she's making us wait. 30 years and two days and listen she's not even trying to to put she's not even trying to make the right relationships or keep the right relationships to get the right type of people on the album but yeah that's my thought on the situation you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section do you think it's just not even that serious you know are you one of the ones that think hey it's just a follow it's not even that serious these two women are behind the scenes, Kiki, uh, Kiki King, and it's all good. Now, one other thing that I thought was a reach, and this could just be me, Meg and Armani recently met up for Super Bowl. They were on live, and one of Meg's songs was playing. And of course, social media took that as they thought it was a direct shot at Nicki Minaj since she just recently unfollowed Normani. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I think it was a reach. We don't have anything concrete. Everything is alleged. The only thing that we know for certain is that Nicki Minaj and Normani are no longer following each other. We don't know if there's beef with it. We don't even know if it was an unfollow that means something. So for right now, I am going to say that the ladies playing any type of song in the background and us hearing those lyrics, I'm going to say it was definitely a reach. But you guys let me know. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Do you think that Meg and Imani was trying to shade Nikki? As we know, there's been a lot of speculation about Meg and Nikki falling out. Nothing has come to the forefront. It's all behind the scenes. So nothing has been said publicly. But a lot of people have been speculating that, hey, they they are not on good terms. So again, you guys, let me know what you think. And we're going to move on to the next topic. So we're going to stay on Nikki, but we're going to kind of shift gears here a little bit. So as many of you may know, Nicki Minaj recently released her single featuring Lil Baby entitled, Do We Have a Problem? I did a review on this single when it dropped. So if you have not checked out that video, go ahead, stop what you're doing, go and look at that video and come back here. I will also try to link it in the description as well as link it somewhere here on the video. I will try.
But getting back to things, so she recently released that single. The single is Fire. I personally love it. And she did have some things to say. Today was when Billboard uh, charts updated, to be more specifically, the Hot 100. And yes, let's get into what Nikki had to say. So she took to Twitter on yesterday because as many of you guys may or may not know, the charts drop every Tuesday in terms of billboard, but we can kind of get the billboard predictions about 24 hours before, which are usually pretty spot on and pretty accurate. So chart data, which gives us a lot of really great and accurate information about um, artists who are charting, they posted Nicki Minaj and Lil Baby, Do We Have a Problem, earns the biggest U.S. unit sales debut for any song in 2022 so far, passing Pushing P. So that's huge. If you're reading that, you're thinking if they've earned the biggest U.S. unit sales debut for any song, it's quite possible that they're number one. Now, keep in mind, other factors come into play. So just because you earned the highest unit sales debut does not necessarily mean that, you know, the streams can't cause you to kind of fall behind um, and not be number one. But we would assume that, you know, you're number one. That's already a huge accomplishment within itself. We're in the second month of the year. So listen, that's huge. So Nikki goes on to say, after finding out that she actually debuted at number two, as opposed to number one, she goes on to say, y'all, let's start by saying, I don't need to go number one. I am number one. There's a difference. And listen, she's absolutely right. Um, She's absolutely right there. Um, She also goes on to state, and this is all on Twitter. Do y'all not understand how effing epic you are? They took off all these sales and look, changed all the rules a few weeks ago, child. And look, I'll go live to say a few things. Let's start with how much I effing love you. So many songs couldn't do this, this child. So I'm assuming that that's Nikki talking to her fan base, which are the Barb's. She's letting them know, hey, you guys showed up. You guys showed out with the streaming and with the purchasing. So I'm sure she's talking to them, which she has every right to kind of, you know, let them know, hey, it's all good over here. We didn't get number one, but it's all good, you know. So I'm sure that's who she was talking to there. She also goes on to say, yes, the biggest collaborations and songs with the most radio play and playlist uh, listing with the same rules couldn't do it. You guys did it after the rule change, a rap song, no sexual visuals, a rappy rap song. I thought it would be top 15 label said top five. So again, she's, you know, you know, pretty much patting herself on the back for her achievement, for her accomplishment. So let's go in and let's actually talk about the rule change. So I would assume that the rule change that Nikki is referring to is going to be the one where one unit purchase will be counted. Two or more units purchased by a customer will not be counted. I'm thinking that that's the rule change that she's talking about. If she's talking about another one, can you guys please let me know down in the comment section? Because I may be totally off here, but if I am on the right track, then this particular rule change amongst others actually was announced December 8th by Billboard and went into effect December 31st, 2021. So it was announced on December 8th and went into effect December 31st. So if this is the change that she's talking about, then artists should have been made aware. I'm not sure if she was or not. I'm not even sure if this is the one. So again, if I'm off base here, then you guys let me know which rule change that she's talking about. Now, along with this rule change that did take effect December 31st, there were a few others that I don't think would have significantly, you know, caused her not to be number, um, not to be number one, if that was a spot that she earned. I think that this one probably would have affected her the most. And I'll tell you why. This rule is a direct hit on stand culture. It's a direct hit on, you know, those stands going in, having the buying parties. 
Streaming parties are still good because streams are counting. But this is a, this is a direct hit on those buying parties. And I'll tell you why. So if you're not familiar with stand culture, most of the stands or most of the fan bases, you have the Barbs, who are, of course, Nicki Minaj's fan base. You have Barty Gang, who's Cardi's fan base. I think you have Taylor, Taylor Swift. She has the Swifties. You have the, you have all of these different fan bases. There's a lot of them out there that I didn't even name. You have the Navy, but, you know, they don't really count right now because Rihanna isn't making music. But... You have all of these different fan bases and when their favorite artist is about to drop or their favorite artist has dropped an album or a single or what have you, they go in and they have streaming and buying parties. So let me tell you how these buying parties work. The purpose of the buying party, because of course, if you purchase the song or if you purchase the, the album, it's going to count more than just a single stream. So you want to buy first and stream later. Buy, then stream. Well, a lot of these fan bases take it a step further. Not just buy, but buy multiple times. So for instance, if I'm a fan, I will go in and purchase the single once go in and purchase it again with another credit card and continuously do that until I'm out of credit cards to use or I'm, you know, until I'm actually out of credit cards to use. So one person can, you know, pretty much purchase one single, however, you know, however many times, you know, you can purchase it up to 10 times. And so if, when you think about it, if you have a thousand people that's participating just in the just in the purchasing party or the buying party, then you have all of these individuals who have kind of inflated the numbers because the same people are purchasing that record over and over as opposed to just going in and streaming it and listening to it. So I get where Billboard is coming from. I also get where Nikki is coming from. If she's in fact talking about a different rule that she knew nothing about and that everybody just found out about last week. So I would totally get where she's coming from. I would feel blindsided too as an artist. So I guess I just need confirmation or clarification. If you guys know of a different rule, let me know down in the comment section, enlighten me. But you know, if it's this rule that rolls out um, December 31st and that all artists have been kind of under the, the thumb of since December 31st and that was announced back in December um, on December 8th then listen my honest opinion just being unbiased here is that you know it was rolled out you know it was rolled out and you have two months of you know artists who have been charting who's been charting under this same rule so yeah let me know what you guys think um on that situation you know is Nicki uh, Minaj reaching or is Billboard you know coming at her because you know that she's had words with Billboard before she was an advocate for streaming you know she wanted streams to count and so she was an advocate for that and she's spoken out about that as well in the past so do you think that you know they're just kind of coming for her or do you think that, you know, hey, you know, Nikki is, you know, just, you know, at this point, she's just, you know, kind of complaining when, you know, number two is number two is number two. It's definitely a great accomplishment and a, a great achievement. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. That's all I have for this video. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.